Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'll be making a Middle Eastern dish called Metluba or Mekluba, however you decide to pronounce it. Basically, it's an upside down dish, translated in English, upside down. Um, basically, it's a dish that has any choice of meat, rice, and vegetables. And yeah, some people think it's very, very hard to make, but it's actually really simple. So I hope you guys stay tuned and watch how I make Mekluba and hopefully you guys can make it. So to start off, I'm going to be showing you what you need to make this makluba recipe. Like I said, you can use any choice of meat, but today I'm using a full chicken that I already cleaned up and took the skin off. Um, I clean it with vinegar, salt, and water. And you'll also need basmati rice that I already have soaking in water. Some baby carrots or full carrots, your choice. Three potatoes for my family, eggplants, an onion, and some cauliflower. And for the spices, you have to have um, makluba spice that you can get from any Arabic store. Allspice, turmeric, and salt. So what we need to do first is get a pot and put some water in it. Put the stove top on high and place the chicken inside of the pot so we can bring it to a boil. While the chicken is boiling, we're going to go ahead, peel, and cut up our vegetables. This is how your potatoes should look like. For the eggplants, I don't like to take off all the skin, so I just go around it and peel as much skin as I like, and I leave some so it wouldn't melt while I'm frying it. After you're done peeling the eggplants, you're going to cut it up just like the potatoes, and not have it too thick or too thin. And after that, we're going to put some salt on it, just sprinkle some salt over it, so all the water that's in the eggplants can go down from it. So about 20 minutes later, um, I'm gonna go ahead and add my onion to the broth where the chicken is and the spices. I'm going to put about a tablespoon or so of each spice inside the broth. And then I'm going to go ahead and mix it, cover it, and put the heat on about a medium and let that cook for about 30 to 35 minutes. So in the meantime, I'm going to go ahead and start frying my vegetables. And I place the carrots over a paper towel so they can dry up a little bit. And I cut up my cauliflower. To fry up my vegetables, I like to use vegetable oil, so I went ahead and added some vegetable oil to a separate pot and I'm going to have it heat up a little bit before we start frying our vegetables. Before you start frying the vegetables, make sure you get any plate, glass plate, and place some paper towels over it and have a spatula with holes in it so when you pick up the vegetables, all the oil can go down the spatula and the oil can absorb in the paper towel. So we're first going to fry our potatoes. And once they're done, we're going to go ahead and pick them up and place them on the paper plate. And 
then we're going to do the same thing with the carrots. Now we're going to be placing the cauliflower. Make sure that you're using tongs to place the cauliflower so the oil won't splash you. While the cauliflower is frying, get a paper towel and start absorbing the water from the eggplant. And we're also going to be using the tongs to place the eggplant in the frying oil. As you can tell, this dish calls for a lot of pots. So the last pot that I'll be using is a makluba pot, but you can use any other pot to stack up all the meats, vegetables, and the rice. So to start layering, we're going to add the meat inside the pot, and then we're going to add the vegetables. The potatoes, carrots, cauliflower, and eggplant. Make sure that the meat, when you place it inside the pot, it's upside down, so when you flip it, it will be the correct way. For the rice, I went ahead and took the water out and I also forgot to mention that you will also need to fry sharia. Sharia is basically angel hair cut up in small pieces. It's totally optional but we like putting it in our makluba. So yeah, we're going to go ahead and fry that in the hot oil and then place it over the rice. So we're also going to be adding the same spices that we added to the broth inside the rice mixture, about a tablespoon of each. Make sure you don't throw out the broth because that's what we're going to cook our rice in. We're going to place our rice over the vegetables and meat and we're going to cook that. Once the rice is mixed, we're going to add it over the chicken and vegetables so we can get ready to cook it. Before we cook it, we're going to add the broth to our layered pot. So to cook it, make sure that you put it on high first until it comes to a boil and then we're going to put the heat down to low until it's fully cooked. So it took about 20 minutes to fully cook. Once it's cooked, we're going to go ahead and flip it over our tray. So this is how the makluba should look like once you flip it. We like to have our makluba with a Middle Eastern salad that has tomatoes, cucumber, green onions, parsley with lemon juice, and some salt. So I hope you guys enjoyed this recipe and I hope you guys try it at home. Thank you guys for watching my video. Bye bye.